Hi everyone, my name is Costin. I'm just going to take you through how to create Weldman profiles using a macro and configurations. So I'm going to start off with this profile here. And if I right click on annotations, show feature dimensions, it shows all the dimensions related to this sketch. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a design table so I can create configurations from these dimensions. Now I'm going to accept these dimensions and put them in my design table. And here I'm going to edit this field so then I can call my weldment profiles based on uh, the dimensions in the profile. So here I'm going to pick this cell content and you have to put a space and an ampersand to, to append um, a string into this cell. Ampersand and always put a space between uh, the cells. Another ampersand string and this last cell content there. So if I right click on this cell, go to format cells, make this general, press OK, and just press enter again. You have the dimensions in um, the name of, the, of this cell. So next what you can do is you can put increments to these dimensions whatever increments you want or whatever equations or relations drag it down you get a constant increment and this name should follow these dimensions here so once you're done just click on the graphic screen and con configurations are automatically created so if we, re we can review these configurations in our configuration manager so once this is done you can just go to tools macro run pick the weldman profile dot SWP, press OK, and basically this macro, I've taken this macro from, well the original macro was called configure, uh, config ripper dot SWP, and what this basically did was it took configurations and saved them out as parts. Now I've edited the code and I've made it take um, profiles and create library feature parts out of this. So what you're going to do here is you're going to specify the path that you would put all your Weldman profiles in and just make sure or verify that your file locations for your Weldman profiles is where you're going to save those library feature parts. So this is the path I have here. So I'm just going to run that macro again and have that as the same path. So just browse to it. Weldman Profiles, Custom, Config. Okay. Now when I press OK, <coughs> what the macro basically does is it takes all the configurations and saves them out as library feature parts. So you just have to wait as it does that. And it's just running through the iterations of saving them out as library feature parts. So just ignore that error there. And we'll just wait till it's all done. Okay, now if I review the location where I've saved all the configurations as library feature parts, you can see that they're all there. And they all have the correct dimensions and the increment. So now if I just close this part and just open up a random part, sketch the path for my weldments, go to my weldments tab, add a structural feature. Now if you remember the path, I had custom config table and now I have all these weldment profiles here that I created in my configuration. So I can just simply apply these now. And there you have it, you can create um, Weldman profiles from configurations of a sketch profile.